Okay, we'll continue with the next session. Um, our presenter at this moment is Pastor Petronio M. Genebago. He is a professor in AUP and at the same time also a student at IAS. He's taking MA in religion. His uh, paper entitled The Practice of Discipleship in the University Setting. But before we are going to uh, listen to his presentation, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can continue our uh, forum this afternoon. We ask your guidance, strengthen us. At this moment, we are very tired, but we do believe, O oh Lord, with this presentation, we can get some insights and it can strengthen our faith and it also lead us to know you better and to know your willing in our life. Bless also Pastor Genebago as he will present his papers. Thank you very much, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Eddie, for that introduction. Um, good afternoon. Yeah, since this R is uh, very um, holy, <laughs> we are um, all, even I. Uh, I feel uh, sleepy during this uh, time. So I want to. I want you to hear the theme song of Voice of Youth. Let me invite uh, a friend, a member of Voice of Youth team um, from AUP, Hazel, to lead us in um, singing this song. This song um, entitled Voice of Youth, uh, or Voice of Youth theme song, um, is composed by a student also in AUP, okay, for Voice of Youth. Hazel, come. So after this, I'll start my presentation. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to share to you our theme song. I am one of the product of Voice of Youth when I was in high school, and so um, let me share to you, let us share to you the um, theme song of this organization. Once you get the tune, you can sing with me. <clears throat> Hear the voice of youth in Christ, good news of salvation we bring in light. Happy to be in his service to share his love saving grace we show and share to communities and trust it to our care empowered by the holy ghost we proclaim to all the lord of hosts hear the voice of youth in christ in Good news of salvation we bring in light. Happy to be in his service to share his love. In the church we give our best to serve with our God-given talents with us. Reading his word, praying each day, and witnessing about his love every day. Hear the voice of youth in Christ, good news of salvation we bring in light. Happy to be in his service to share his love. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Hazel. He's, uh, she is the artist of the Voice of Youth team in AUP. Um, thank you very much, Hazel. Okay, this um, group is about to uh, go to their, um, to their respective place when uh, it, it was, a, because we have Voice of Youth every semester break or semestral break. So this group is headed somewhere here in Cavite to join the church in preaching the gospel. So the title of my presentation is Voice of Youth, the Practice of Discipleship in University Setting. So let me again, uh, probably you have read this uh, abstract already, but allow me to read this once more. The Adventist University of the Philippines, through the College of Theology, promotes the involvement and equipping of both theology and non-theology students in evangelism through Voice of Youth. There have been groups of students joining the Voice of Youth teams, but their reasons of joining have not been determined. Thus, this study was conducted to identify the reasons for AUP students' involvement in the Voice of Youth, which may reveal the practice of discipleship in university setting. The study used a mixed method. There were 122 students who participated in the study, most of them were males, were in first year and in second year levels. The results show that witnessing is the highest reason of the youth in joining the Voice of Youth and that their friends are the ones who invited them to join. The other reasons for joining are the following, equipping, spiritual growth, service, and missions. So these reasons are, as we can notice, are related to uh, someone who is a disciple. A disciple of Jesus Christ, of course, go and witness. She, uh, he or she, that person is equipped, growing in Christ, doing service and mission. Um, let me just... Okay, the findings reveal that students join the Voice of Youth teams to witness and because of their friends' invitation from the findings, conclusion, and recommendations have been drawn. So the Voice of Youth of the College of Theology of the Adventist University of the Philippines is designed to provide. So this is uh, the purpose of having Voice of Youth, to provide an avenue or a platform whereby our students, theology students, and non-theology students can participate in witnessing. So this program was designed to help ministerial students to sharpen their skills in organizing and leading the evangelistic effort of the church. And in this program, ministerial students are required to participate in three voice of youth. But although they are only required three voice of youths, many of them are having 10, 20, and even 60 <laughs> voice of youth uh, before graduation. So they have to be uh, member of Voice of Youth, and then coordinator, and then speaker when they are junior already. So the Voice of Youth is further described as a gift-based uh, ministry of the College of Theology to equip theology, non-theology students of AUP, and the approved young people of the local church. So 
students of AUP, theology students, then um, non-theology students, and the young people in the church. So its vision is to help young people enjoy a saving relationship with Christ, sharpen their God-given spiritual gift in the church, and share the gospel to the communities, both rural and urban. So let me show you some charts that will explain. I can I remove this? That will explain um, the participation of both theology and non-theology uh, students. Let's see the ch chart one. So in this chart, we can notice that this is the theology students who joined the Voice of Youth. October, uh, I think, yeah, January, December 2014 to January 2015. And this is the non-theology students. So the non-theology students or the theology students are outnumbered by non-theology students. Is that bad news or good news? <laughs> Probably good news, okay? So meaning if this will... If only theology students are joining, probably will, uh, in AUP will have problem. Chart 2 is showing the participation by college without the College of Theology. Meaning, uh, I'll, I'll include later the College of Theology. We have here the College of Arts and Humanities, College of Health, this green one, College of Business. I thought College of Business are busy making money. But here, they, are, they top the, the uh, survey. The CST College of Science and Technology, College of Education, College of Nursing, and College of Dentistry. So this is showing that uh, Voice of Youth are well participated. Chap uh, chart 3, showing the participa but participation by college with the College of Theology. So this is the College of the Theology. Of course, uh, but here is the summary of uh, that one. Of course, uh, it should be the highest. <laughs> okay, the college of the theology students should be the highest in uh, among the college colleges in AUP. Uh, chart four. This is showing the participation by year. So we have here first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. And there are students who are already there for five years. <laughs> okay. So I s noticed that uh, it is uh, it's declining when they are becoming senior students. So the Voice of Youth is also in line with the mission of AUP, which states the Adventist University of the Philippines exists to provide quality education that facilitates the growth of students so that they may lead lives that are personally satisfying and may contribute to the welfare of the church and the society that sustains them. So meaning, if this will not be achieved, so the uh, mission of AUP is not uh, accomplished. So they need to be personally satisfied and then uh, contribute to the church and to the community. But if they wait for graduation to come, Ah, I'll, I'll join, I'll do community service and then be active in the church after graduation. It's already too late. So furthermore, Ellen White made several strong statements emphasizing the mission involvement of our students or youth. She said, the true education is missionary training. If you notice, I uh, also quoted this during uh, the second uh, annual forum, ATTS an annual forum. She said that true education is missionary training. Every son and daughter of God is called to be a missionary. We are called to the service of God and our fellow men, and to fit us for this service should be the object of our education. So true education is missionary training. I believe many of us, probably majority of the students now here, are, will become future uh, uh, faculty members of your school. So at least, um, probably you have different contexts uh, compared to the Philippines, but the principles uh, laid here can be applied in your place for sure. So true education is missionary training. Implies that forgetting missionary training falls short, falls short of what true education is. Okay? 
So Ellen White further stated, it is necessary to their complete education that students be given time to do missionary work. Okay, time to become acquainted with the spiritual needs of the families in the community around them. They should not be loaded down with studies that they have no time to use the knowledge they have acquired. Um, yeah. Sometimes, especially I'm a student of IAS because of many requirements, <laughs> sometimes you don't have time to, to go and witness. Um, yeah, this is a reminder for uh, every uh, faculty or teacher that we should not load them with so many work that missionary activities is not done anymore. Probably education would be nothing, okay, <laughs> useless. And Christ will come and then we have done nothing. Okay, so probably this is applicable also to IAS. While we are student here in IAS, you know, when I became student here, I feel the burden of being a student. No more time, okay. So, okay, you can read this. Uh, by working in humility, seeking wisdom from Christ, praying and watching unto prayer, they may give to others the knowledge that, are, that has enriched their lives. So having this background, the COT has been actively promoting yearly the involvement of students in the Voice of Youth during the semester breaks in the months of October, December, and during summer. But we'll have different setup because uh, the class starts August, first semester st starts August. Since the Voice of Youth was implemented back when AUP was still a college, there ha have been no studies conducted to determine the reasons why students joined the Voice of Youth. So... That's why I have this study. Hence, this study was conducted to determine from, whom, from whose invitation they responded to join and to identify the reasons of students for joining Voice of Youth. Probably, they are only looking for future wife or husband. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, before uh, we go, let's try to see the, this table one. This shows the services offered by the Voice of Youth teams going out. So number of Voice of Youth teams, we have October, we have December, and total 63. So we're not only interested with baptism, so number of children served, 3,237. Number nightly meeting attendance, we have 2,228. Number of youth involved, in the local church, 476, 476. Number of homes visited, 2,207. Number of Bible studies, 962. Number of baptism, 408. Number of students, 415 who joined. Number of theology students, 171. And number of non-theology students, 244. Sometimes, non-Adventists are also joining in Voice of Youth. And after uh, going back, they, are, they decided... That to, uh, bup to be baptized. They decide to be baptized. Okay, methods. The study utilized a mixed method design. A self-constructed checklist was utilized to determine the respondent's demographic profile and guide question to determine the respondent's reason for joining the voice of youth. Purposive sampling technique was utilized in the study conducted among students enrolled during the second semester of 2013-2014 in AUP who participated in Voice of Youth in October, November, November 2013 and December 2013 and to January 2014. So there were 122 students and I have mentioned this already. Results and discussion. So recruitment channels for Voice of Youth so this shows the recruitment channels. Uh, so who is the most effective recruiter? Okay, friend. So meaning students inviting fellow students to join is the most effective okay, uh, channel for the students to join. And the next is pastor. But you see the, the, gap between, the gap between friend and pastor is huge. Okay? So that's why I, I said to the students, 
you should promote. Okay? The stories that they are telling. And very soon, please pray for us, uh, we will be um, printing the His Story, a book containing the stories of students. I have already, Pastor, 80 stories. And it's about to be uh, printed. Uh, it's in the editing. Um, and then pastors, teacher, promotion in church, and parent. Okay, very good. So we have teacher. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The results show that most or 85 out of the 122 respondents joined the voice of youth because of their friends who invited them. Followed by pastor and so on and so forth. So with regard to the influence of young people to their peers in ministry, Burns in 1998 pointed out that peer ministry is more than an antidote to apathy. It's, all, it's also the most effective style of ministry and this study uh, confirms that. Students can best be served by other students primarily because of a credibility factor which is not as strong when adults minister and positive peer pressure is just as powerful in a student's life as negative peer pressure so i yeah um one of the great predictor or predictors in smoking alcohol drinking is peer pressure so, and positive peer pressure is just as powerful in student life. Scouts and Scouts enumerated the advantages of youth-based ministry, which is ministering to young people, by young people. First is youth ownership of youth ministry, leading to increased participation and commitment of the youth involved. So, when these young people go out to serve in the community, they own the ministry. They have the sense of owning the ministry. So uh, they'll participate more. And when they graduate, they'll be better leaders of our uh, churches. Second is life skills training where the youth learns to be responsible. So they learn to cook. They learn to uh, everything. To make decisions. So we have seminars being conducted how to solve conflicts, lead, and develop self-esteem. Third is enhance self-worth and personal growth, which give them confidence as they have an active role in the ministry. Other advantages include broad distrib uh, dis uh, distribution of work, youth ministry, continuity, good role model for the whole congregation, enhance youth evangelism, and increase youth visibility. So that those are the advantages. So let's see the result of uh, the reasons. What are the reasons of joining Voice of Youth? So the study sought to determine the students' reason for joining Voice of Youth. The number of students' participation increased, yet the reasons were not identified. So we'll have this table. So we um, let me read this one. Um, the table shows the five highest themes out of ten themes that emerge from the data. So five consistent verbatim answers from the respondents were included in the table as follows. Number one, 166, to preach the gospel, so to, to bring souls at Jesus' feet, so witnessing, to be trained to serve, I want to have more experience in the field, to, to equip me to become a pastor, and our problem is when students are, actually this is a good problem, they entered, uh, they joined Voice of Youth from different uh, course. When they go back, they want to become pastors. <laughs> they enrolled in the College of Theology. Okay. Equip, and then to, to enhance my faith, to develop my character, I want to strengthen my personal relationship with the Lord. Be closer to God. So this is done after coming from Voice of Youth. So these are the, the answers. Service, serve God. I have passion to serve others. I want to serve and show my love to God. And then to fulfill the mission that God entrusted to us. It is my calling to minister outside the church to respond to the Great Commission. So I'm happy to see after this survey 
that Voice of Youth is indeed an effective uh, uh, avenue for these students to become disciples of Jesus Christ. So as shown in Table 3, the result of the study indicates that witnessing is the highest reason of the youth in joining Voice of Youth followed by equipping, spiritual growth, service, and mission. This implies that the students join Voice of Youth to exercise their faith through witnessing, to equip themselves in ministry, to grow spiritually, and to join in mission. So Johnston emphasized that youth ministry, which challenge equipping of students with leadership, will produce servant leaders. Briley pointed out that the importance of involvement when he said it is becoming increasingly evident that ministry where youth are passive spectators is simply not effective. In the voice of youth, these students are not spectators but missionaries offering themselves to do mission and witnessing in the community. So when, when I'm reading the stories they submitted, Sometimes I laugh, sometimes I cried, sometimes I am led to pray because they went joined, uh, to join Voice of Youth. They have not experienced it in their churches. But when they experience, you know, they are sharing uh, their uh, experience and faith in God. They are excited. Um, wh with regard to the importance of equipping, uh, I don't know how to pronounce their names. Father and Mayas considered its importance to expand the evangelism, evangelism work. He further elaborated that the true multiplication occurs when disciples are trained in evangelism and disciple building. And no matter how dynamic the leader is, no matter how financially stable and well organized the church is, expansion will not continue if people are not trained to minister. So Mercadante shares the positive benefits of equipping the young people. He said that equipping, organizing, and mobilizing the youth will produce servant leaders who become partners in church mission that leads to ownership because they are involved. So beautiful. So spectacular, or spectacular youth ministry challenges teens to go beyond spiritual expectating. Teenagers soon get bored with programs that seek only to entertain them spiritually. So we are not here to entertain them. When we emphasize entertainment, we produce spectators. Youth search for and need opportunities for meaningful involvement. When we provide these opportunities by equipping, organizing, and mobilizing teen leaders, we produce servants of Jesus Christ. As they invest themselves in the ministry, they become partners in the church mission. This partnership leads to ownership. Ownership leads to greater excitement, responsibility, and participation. Young people will tenaciously support those things which they have worked for and or created. So they'll give importance to what they have created. Just as anyone take care of things that cost them something. That's what ownership is all about. So I have five minutes more. So Briley uh, added that another benefit of equipping is helping the youth change their perspective on the meaning of life. Serving others help them begin to realize that life is not so much about getting as it is about giving to others. So conclusion. Ah, okay. This is, uh, I want to read this. Mercadante further said, that this youth can influence the church since they are able to ignite the church with their natural idealism, enthusiasm, and energy. So, conclusion, the study found that witnessing is the highest reason of the youth in joining the voice of youth and that their friends are the ones who invited them to join. The other reasons for joining are equipping, spiritual growth, service, and mission. Thus, students join the voice of youth teams to witness and because of their friends' invitation. This study shows that Voice of Youth can be an avenue for the students or the youth to witness, to be equipped, to grow spiritually, to serve, and to be involved in mission. In short, living and practicing discipleship while accomplishing, accomplishing their dreams of finishing a degree in AUP. So moreover, this study brings a healthy challenge to the COT. We have the College of Theology faculty here and our dean, Dr. Amurao. Uh, this is a challenge 
for us to continue improving the Voice of Youth and to produce a Voice of Youth manual or guide to help the university achieve, achieve its mission of providing quality Christian education that facilitates the growth of students so that they may lead, lead lives that are personally satisfying. And to strengthen those channels that uh, are bringing students to Voice of Youth. Recommendations? I'll just read this one. To the AUP, okay, I have, but this is also uh, published in university research. Deans and departments, it is recommended to launch the I Boys of Youth, EPOY, which stands for Inter Colleges Boys of Youth, wherein each college will, will act actively promote Boys of Youth to students. A sample of IBOY team could be speaker from COT, coordinator COT, health lecturer COH, COD, CON, coordinator, uh, children's coordinator COA, documentation, College of Arts and Humanities budget, COB, CST for lo uh, logistic and sound system, music from, and so on and so forth. So with this initiative, AUP, uh, these students will not only graduate as professionals. But when they graduate, they are better, they are equipped missionaries in the church and in the communities. Uh, before I end, let me show you uh, this. Um, just some of the pictures. So as I told you a while ago, young people, this is the vision. Saving relationship with young people who are enjoying a saving relationship with Christ, sharpening their God-given gifts in the church and sharing the gospel to the community. So these students are, before going out, they have devotionals, worship, training, commissioning, so we have commission and regular commissioning in PIC before they go out. So sharpening their God-given gifts, we have Voice of Youth Camp for them to know their roles. So we have trainings. So this is empowering our young people. And then uh, sharing the gospel to the community. And one of the, the one baptized here in the picture is now a member of Boys of Youth. So he joined the Boys of Youth and uh, he's one of the students who are, uh, one among the students who are joining the, who is joining the Boys of Youth. So after this, we have, of course, baptism. Uh, these are the fruits of another study that we want to, to uh, do is to survey those people who were baptized. Yeah, it's another side of the story. And this one, this is family, one family who, a family waiting for someone who will be with them, who will call them, and a Voice of Youth member found them and shared the gospel to them. And all of them, as a family, joined the church. And uh, they are worshiping God with the church in that uh, area. I think in Metro Manila. So this is the mission of the Voice of Youth, seek and save the lost, make disciples, and plant churches. Uh, to end, um, Rhoda Mejeresa, taking up this mechanical engineering. Roxanne Castillo, AY leader. Dylan Casera, nursing graduate. Donalyn Sanchez, public school teacher. Armand Fernandez, student nurse. Jason Medeña, theology student. Jason Castero, engineering student. Michael Diaz, theology student. 
Jerwin Seiko, taking dentistry. I'm Trisha Selin, taking business management. I'm Colina Rindain, taking nutrition and dietetics. I'm Sarah Bollendor, taking DEFCOM. We're assigned in Santa Fe Zambales, Voice of Youth, Empowering the Youth for Evangelism, the Power of One. <laughs> okay, last, this one. Hi, I'm... I'm Shikana Grace, I'm Artisano, I'm grade 5. Hi, I'm Hanilin Villar, taking up Bachelor in Elementary Education. I'm Alan Gamboa, taking up BSE English. I'm Marini Gamboa, I'm taking up uh, Bachelor of Science in Business and Dietetics. I'm Arturo Martisano, I'm Grade 7. I'm Alan Castillo, Medical Engineer. I'm Cesar Liz Lanoso, I'm taking up Automotive. This is Rayson Gabdula, taking Bachelor of Theology. I'm Albert Dale M. Soko, taking up Theology. And James Valer Martisano, I'm grade 8. We are assigning my love to the We don't like voice of you. We love it. Okay, uh, and the last, boys sit down. Um, Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Pastor, for the nice presentation. And we have about 10 minutes before we have our break for questions and answers. Uh, maybe you have questions. Please write it down, okay. From... Pastor Pakpahan. I have a question here. Two questions, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, I like this one. So that's why I need to raise my question. Yeah. Question number one is like this, Pastor. Looking to the numbers of respondents categorized into their respective schools, mm -hmm. did you consider the proportion of registrants of the schools, which I assume uh, would probably, if we take as it is, it will not give what the reality was. For example, we said that, okay, the, what's that? The, ah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, we said the number is really high. But then when we uh, calculate proportionally yeah. according to the numbers of the, uh, the school, yeah, it should be lower than what should be. And then the second question is recruitment channels. I like this. You put parents and then 17 students. Okay. Now, my question is this. Who did promote this voice of, pro, uh, voice of, youth. of youth? Yeah. To the parents. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's the question. Okay. So, the, the meaning, I'll, I'll answer first the number two question. Um, the 17, there are students who joined because of parents. But the question is, hey, who, who promoted the voice of you to the parents? Uh, I don't have that. Uh, I have not asked them, but uh, probably they are uh, also um, parents who joined voice of youth before. <laughs> probably. Or parents who learned that... Uh, Students are learning more when they are joining Voice of Youth. So I don't have any idea. I have not interviewed the parents, but that's also my, my assumption. But you say, uh, your first question is, compared to the total population of AUP, we have uh, about around 5,000. So, but we have these students, uh, 400 to 500 students are joining Voice of Youth. So, but the, you know, 500 to, to uh, Five 
5,000 is uh, small. Okay, very small, right? Am I getting your, your question? So, the, please, can you? Yeah, please, Mike. Because it's really fast, the yeah, yeah. chart. I like chart. Yeah. You presented, uh, you projected the chart uh, like this. Uh, the number, or can we go to the chart? What chart? Uh, I think chart number. This one? Uh, no, no, no. The chart uh, with a, a diagram. Oh, okay. With table. Sorry, yeah. sorry. This one. Yes. Yeah. See, participation. And then we have numbers like that yeah. according to the schools. Yes. So my question is, I consider this one is from School of Theology or what? Oh, no, no. This is, there is no College of Theology here. Uh, without College of Theology. In okay, here, okay. we have College of Theology. So with this, yeah. with this, uh, could you please uh, explain to us a little bit uh, when we put this one higher than others, it is pros uh, proportionally made or what? According to the numbers of the... Uh, yeah. It's okay? According, uh, this is the, the result of the survey, so I just uh, make it into table. So, meaning, uh, it, the, the summary of this one is this one. So, when oh. you break down this non-theology student, it will give you this. Okay? Yeah. Non-theology students. But with theology student, it will give you this. But this, CAH up to COD, uh, yeah, the summary is this one. Okay, thank you. It's yeah. very clear to me. Yeah. Ah, I like it. <laughs> thank okay. you. Okay. Is there any question? We have five minutes left. Oh. No more? If, okay. Pastor Aso. Yeah, it's about the theology student. Uh, I, I want to know their commitment. Is it uh, because it's a requirement? Because I saw in the chart it was uh, mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Yeah, when we added the, theology, the, the School of Theology, it went very up there. It became number yeah. one. So I want to know if it's because it's a requirement as a student in theology, or they are also willing, like the other ones in the other <laughs> schools, yeah. to attend or not to attend. Yeah. Because if it's a requirement, then I can understand that it should yeah. be high like okay. this. But I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly. Doc Thank you, Dr. Esso, for that uh, wonderful question. I said to, my, uh, to our theology students, if you only, uh, if you only uh, fulfill three voice of youths, that is only requirement. But if you go beyond that, meaning you love it, you're doing it. <laughs> okay, so I'm teasing them. So if you're only doing three voice of youths, you're only fulfilling the requirements. But if you go beyond that, uh, I don't have that survey. Uh, because I have the form already, uh, probably I can, uh, I can um, disseminate that. And then we'll see how many of them have done beyond, beyond the required voice of youths. Because we can only see the commitment, you're right, Dr. Eso. We can only see the, the commitment of this theology student if they have done beyond three, <laughs> beyond the required. Because to these uh, students, they are joining. It's not a requirement for them. This is not a requirement. They, uh, they, they are finding, um, you know, joy, fulfillment in this, in Voice of Youth, or of course in their experience in Voice of Youth. Okay, from Dr. Agustin. Thank you, Pastor <laughs> uh, Ron, for your presentation. My question is about uh, the uh, objectives of uh, the Voice of Youth. Is it only uh, dealing with 
soul winning evangelism or are there some yeah. objectives aside from soul winning as they go to the churches? Yeah. So thank you very much. Um, primarily, the prime uh, purpose is to evangelize, to soul, uh, to win soul for Jesus. Okay, to lead people because, of course, the OG student needs to uh, have that uh, training in college to evangelize. But um, we are not limiting them. Like if they find the church not ready. They can the, the group the boys of it can do revival meetings, or uh, they can start like uh, sewing, uh, sewing or you know. So this is actually partnership. Okay, this is how boys of it is um, working. The church will the church will requests from the College of Theology a group, and the group will be sent there. So meaning uh, they have done already like some uh, preliminary works, groundwork, and then they will be joined by young people there, so they'll work together and then do ministries to them. And uh, so meaning they are not, um, they are not only, uh, the goal is not only to uh, evangelize, meaning they can also do re uh, revival. So it depends on, it depends on the, the uh, area or the uh, uh, the church or the field that they are assigned but here we have this definition here the program is designed to help ministerial students to sharpen their skills in organizing but we have also this uh, distribution of to help young people to enjoy a saving relationship so we want them to have a closer relationship while in AUP and then sharpen their God-given gifts. So the end is evangelism, but on the process of, uh, of equipping them for evangelism, uh, we are doing the basic of discipleship, relationship with Christ, training using their spiritual gifts, and then uh, going out to disciple. Uh, follow up. How about uh, disciple? Uh, uh, in, in involving the young people of the churches, are they intentional in their discipling? And then uh, also uh, my another concern is, are they also ha having or do they have a, a nurturing uh, aspect after the candidates have been okay. baptized. Actually, uh, thank you, D Dr. Agustin, for that question. It is the another area of the, uh, the survey because this survey is our part in AUP. But uh, many are suggesting that why don't we uh, do uh, a survey for them? Like, are they doing that after the Voice of Your teams, uh, teams are uh, in AUP already? What about those who were baptized? Are they staying? <laughs> are they staying? Are they being nurtured by the church? So that's another, I don't have uh, an answer for that. Probably I can answer it's an assumption. We want them to be together so that when they leave the church, because I've been in the youth ministry of NPUC and CLC, and I noticed that, uh, that boys of youth, uh, when the boys of youth are already home, um, mm, those who are baptized are leaving the church. So that's why in our guidelines, we put it that the church should have a counterpart in the voice of youth. Okay? In the voice of youth. So let me... Um, uh, th this one is like uh, effective strategies of voice of youth. Uh, you can... Uh, we have here visitation, serenading, Bible studies, united prayer, and health survey and community service. These are coming from 26 groups, uh, less than 26 groups. They are saying that these are the spec effective strategies they have done in the community. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Pastor Genebago, for the presentation. Um, okay, I would like to invite our president to...
On behalf of the IS Asian Theological Society, I would like to present this certificate of appreciation to uh, Petronio Ginabago uh, for his valuable presentation on the voice of youth, the practice of discipleship in university settings. During the third IS Asian Theological Society annual forum with the theme, Making Disciples, Opportunities and Challenges of Developing Faithful Disciples in Asia. On June 12 to 13, 2015, at uh, Adventist International Institute of Advanced Studies, Lalang Wan Silang Cavite, Philippines. Thank you so much. And also we have the small token of the appreciation for each uh, presenter. And this morning, I forget to present this. So sorry, uh, also Pastor Vargas, and also Dr. Mago, and uh, Pastor G also, yeah. Please come, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, one more is for Dr. Mago. Not here? Okay, we will give him late. Uh, Pastor Amora already? No, already, okay. Yeah. yeah, the first one already, I, I remember, yeah. Okay, let's, let's take a break and we come back. What time? Three o'clock, we come back. Yeah, we just uh, take a break and uh, have some refreshment there.